Example 4. We have this polynomial division. Before we write into long division, we see the numerator, there is no x cubed variable. For easier calculation, we can include x cubed as dummy variable. So in this long division form, since x cubed not in the question, we can write as a dummy variable where the coefficient is 0. Then the denominator we write at the outside. There is four steps to do long division. The first step is divide. So we divide 4x power of 4 by 2x. We get 2x cubed. The second step is multiply. We multiply 2x cubed with 2x. We get 4x power of 4. And multiply 2x cubed times negative 3. We get negative 6x power of 3. The third step is we subtract. So here we get 0 and then 0 minus negative 6x cubed we get positive 6x cubed. Then the last step is we bring down. Bring down the rest of the term. Then we repeat this four step. Divide 6x cubed divide by 2x, we get 3x square. Then we multiply 3x square times 2x, we get 6x cubed. 3x square times negative 3, we get negative 9x square. Then we subtract. So here we get 0 and then negative 5 x square minus negative 9 x square. We get 4 x square. Then we bring down the rest of the term. So since the degree of x is still higher than the divisor, we repeat the process. So divide, we get 2 x by 4x square divided by 2x, we get 2x. Then we multiply 2x times 2x, we get 4x square. 2x times 3, negative 3, we get negative 6x. Then we subtract. Then bring down negative 10 and here we still need to do the four step here so 8x divided by 2x we get 4 then we multiply 4 times 2x and then 4 times negative 3 then we subtract the answer, the remainder here is 2. So how we want to write the answer after use long division? So we have to write into this form if we have remainder. So P over D is the question. Q, the quotient. Here and plus remainder over divisor. So remainder is 2. The divisor is 2x minus 3. Then the final answer is 
like this. Example 6. We have this polynomial equation where the denominator is a quadratic but in factor form. So before we do long division, we must expand the denominator. So x plus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 1. So if we look here, x square minus 1, there is no variable x. So variable x will be dummy variable. So we write the denominator at the upside. So x square plus 0x minus 1. And numerator, there is no dummy variable in numerator there is four step to do long division the first step is divide so we divide 3x cube with x square the answer is 3x so we write 3x the second step is multiply. We multiply 3x with each term in the divisor. So 3x times x square, we get 3x cubed. Then 3x times 0x, we get 0x square. Neg negative 1 times 3x, we get negative 3x. Then, the third step is we subtract. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. Negative 2x squared minus 0. We get negative 2x squared. Then, negative 4x minus negative 3x. We get negative x. Then, the last step is we bring down the rest of the term. Then, we repeat the process. Negative 2x squared divided by x squared, we get negative 2. Then, we multiply negative 2 with x squared. So, we get negative 2x square, then negative 2 times 0, we get 0, and negative 2 times negative 1, get positive 2, then we subtract. So this 0, negative x minus 0, we get negative x, and 5, 5 minus 2 get 3. So since the remainder is less than the divisor, so we stop here. So how we write the answer after long division? Okay, if have remainder, we must write into this form. So the answer is 3x minus 2 and plus 3 minus x over x square minus 1. Example 7. Factorize completely the polynomial here when divided by x plus 2. So the keywords here is factorize completely, meaning this long division have no remainder. So this problem first we write into long division where the denominator is at the upside and numerator at the inside.
So there is four steps to do long division. The first step is divide. So we divide x cubed over x. Then we get x square. Then we multiply x square with x. We get x cubed. x square times 2. We get 2x square. Then we subtract x cubed minus x cubed is 0. x square minus 2x square. We get negative x square. Then we bring down the rest of the term. Okay. We repeat the process. Negative x square divide by x we get negative x. So we write here negative x. Then we multiply negative x times x and then negative x times 2. So here we get negative x square and then when we multiply negative x with 2 we get negative 2x then we subtract negative 14x minus negative 2x we get negative 12x then negative 24 we bring down and we repeat the four step since the degree of the x is equal with the divisor. So here negative 12x divided by x we get negative 12. Then negative 12 multiply with divisor we get negative 12x and negative 24. When we subtract, there is no remainder. So, we want to write the answer if there is no remainder. So, we will write in this form. P equal to QD plus R. So, since remainder is 0, so there is no plus R. Okay. So, how we write the quotient, this is the answer of quotient, x square minus x minus 12 times divisor, that is x plus 2. Since the question want us to factorize completely, so this quadratic can be factorized. So, we factorize x square minus x minus 12, we get x minus 4, x plus 3, x plus 2. So this is the answer of polynomial when we factorize completely.